Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. If x equals 3 plus 2 square root of 2, then what is the value of x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth? Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video right now. And if you're ready, here's the solution. And I hope you pause this video. Now let's see if you get the correct answer. Now let's answer this question together. Let's take the given equation. We have x equals 3 minus 2 square root of 2. Now looking at our goal, we want to find the value of x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth. And we don't want to substitute the value of x and raise to the fourth power. This is not a good way because 3 minus 2 square root of 2 this is the fourth power, meaning we need to multiply 3 plus 2 square root of 2 four times. And we have 1 over that thing. So therefore, that solution is quite long. And I think the more solutions you have, the more steps you have, the more likely you get on a state. So therefore, we need to find another way to find the value of x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth. Now, take note that we have 1 over x to the fourth. Therefore, this tells us that we need to find 1 over x. Now, to do that, let's take the reciprocal of this equation. So, we have 1 over x equals 1 over 3 minus 2 square root of 2. Now, simplify the right-hand side by simply rationalizing the denominator. To do that, let's multiply this to its conjugate. 3 minus 2 square root of 2, its conjugate must be 3 plus 2 times square root of 2. So we multiply by 3 plus 2 square root of 2 all over 3 plus 2 square root of 2. Now if we multiply 1 times 3 plus square root of 2 will give us 3 plus 2 square root of 2 and on the denominator we have 3 squared minus 2 times square root of 2 quantity squared or simply just 8. Now 9 minus 8 will give us 1 and 3 plus 2 square root of 2 divided by 1 will give us 3 plus 2 times square root of 2. Now at this point, we have now the value of 1 over x, which is equal to 3 plus 2 times square root of 2. Now what will happen if we add x and 1 over x? Notice that negative 2 square root of 2 and positive 2 square root of 2 cancel out. Therefore, x plus 1 over x will give us 6. At this point, we are now ready to find the value of x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth. Now, our first step is to square on both sides. Now, take note that x plus 1 over x is not equal to x squared plus 1 over x squared. Because if we have a plus b quantity squared, it is equal to a squared plus 2 times ab plus b squared. So, we need to apply this identity to expand x plus 1 over x. Now simplify and we have x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x plus 1 over x squared. And on the right hand side, we have 6 squared or simply 36. Now x times 1 over x is just 1. So we can cancel out this term. This is just 2 times 1. And we have x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared. And it is equal to 36. Subtract 2 on both sides and we have x squared plus 1 over x squared equals 34. Now we are now close to our goal. Our goal is x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth. So to achieve that, we need to square again both sides. So we have x squared plus 1 over x squared raised to 2 equals 34 squared. And again, applying this identity to the left hand side and we have x to the fourth plus 2 times x squared times 1 over x squared plus 1 over x to the fourth equals 34 squared or simply 1,156. Now, x squared times 1 over x squared is just 1. Therefore, we have x to the fourth plus 2 plus 1 over x to the fourth equals 1,156. Now, we want the value of x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth. Therefore, we need to subtract 2 on both sides. It follows that we have x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth equals 1,154.
Therefore, if we have x equals 3 minus 2 times square root of 2, then the value of x to the fourth power plus 1 over x to the fourth power must be equal to 1,154. And as always, we're done.